Hello, today we will be doing a dissection step by step of the pig's liver. The liver is the second largest organ in the human body after the skin, and this is most likely to be true for most mammals too. So after food has been digested in the small intestine, the nutrients are absorbed and transported to the liver via the hepatic portal vein. I've cut the liver into two halves, and as you can see, the interior is brown, soft, and sort of like a sponge. There are four functions of the liver. Firstly, some of the glucose of arriving via the hepatic portal vein is transported from the liver to the muscles of the body. Excess glucose is stored as glycogen. When the muscles require more energy, the liver can convert glycogen back into glucose that is transported to the working muscles via the circulatory system. The liver regulates the level of amino acids in the blood that are needed for protein synthesis. However, amino acids cannot be stored. Excess amino acids are deanimated and converted into glucose and used for energy. Ammonia is a toxic byproduct of deanimation and must be converted into urea and removed from the body via the excretory system. As you can see from this new incision, the liver is relatively uniform throughout. Fatty acids and glycerol are converted into energy. The liver is able to convert excess carbohydrates and proteins into fatty acids and triglycerides. These are then exported and stored in the body as fat. The stored fat is able to be converted back into energy at a later date if required by the body. Some membrane can be found attached to the liver as you can see here. It is quite difficult to cut this membrane off. It is quite tough to hold the liver in place with the rest of the body. Now bile is produced in the liver. This is one of the main functions of the liver in the digestive system. Bile collects in the gallbladder and passes into the duodenum when required via the bile duct, which you cannot see as it has been cut off. Bile is an alkaline fluid and plays a major part in neutralizing the acidity of the chyme and the emulsification of lipids. The average mass of the human liver is 1.5 kilograms, much similar to that of a pig. It is unfortunate that all the fatty tissue and the gallbladder has been cut off as we cannot see it in this liver. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this dissection.